I don't think I've done like a side part in a few months. I'm, I think I missed it. <laughs> what is up everyone? If you are new, my name is Jessica. Today I've got like 45 different beauty products to give quick reviews on. Whew, we got a lot to talk about. I've got skincare, hair care, body care, makeup, and everything in between. This is a video I do every few months because these are all things I've used up and I really know how I feel about them. There are a few things that are straight up full that I'm getting rid of that I just hated so much. I cannot wait to talk about some of those. <laughs> so I have two of the Ritual Symbiotic Pluses that I've used up as well as two of the Ritual Essential for Women Multivitamin. I really wanna talk about this one and I wanted to thank Ritual for sponsoring this part of the video. So I started taking their Symbiotic Plus probably five or six months ago, maybe longer, cause I've taken it on some big trips. And I needed something to really help because I felt like I was bloated all of the time. And I mean, not 365, seven days a week, but a lot, a lot more than I think I should have been. Once I introduced this into my life, I would say after a few weeks of taking this, I really started to realize that I hadn't been feeling bloated as much. And now fast forward a few months and I have not felt bloated other than the times I would like be that time of the month. This has made such a difference. I was very skeptical to be honest with you guys. It has made a difference. So Symbiotic Plus is a three in one prebiotic, probiotic and postbiotic. So it is a supplement that supports gut and digestive health. Another thing I love is that it doesn't just support you physically, it also can help your immunity. 70% of your immune system is located in the gut and so probiotics can really help with that. So it contains two of the world's most studied probiotic strains. I also love that it's a delayed release capsule. It's designed so that it will make its way all the way to the colon, which is a more ideal place for probiotics to survive and grow, but it's just one capsule daily. It's also shelf stable, so you don't need to refrigerate it. And you can take it with or without food. I tend to take mine at night before bed when I take my Ritual Multivitamin. It's just easier to take it all at the same time so that I don't forget. And it's subscription-based, so you never run out. It's super easy to just have it delivered to your door each month. You don't need to put it on your grocery list. It's already coming. And I really, like I said, this is one that I had even told Ritual because I've worked with them for a while that I really didn't want to talk about until I had tried it for multiple months. And I finally am at that point where I'm like, okay, I get it. I understand the hype. I understand why this really is superior. I've tried a couple of off brands I found. Um, I just don't feel like I felt the same effect as I've had with this. And another little plug for this is if you are traveling and you feel like every time you travel, your system just gets messed up. You're not eating the same food. You're not sleeping as well, maybe, etc. This has been a game changer for me for that. So if you wanna get 25% off your first order of Ritual, you can go to ritual.com slash jbron25 and use code jbron25 at checkout. You can also scan the QR code on screen here if that is easier for you. Thank you so much, Ritual, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, let's do some makeup empties. I finished up the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. Still my favorite, you guys. It still is. I just recently retried a couple others that had been favorites of mine, the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes, the, um, that one ended up smudging everywhere. I retried the Thrive Cosmetics li like liquid lash extensions. I like that. I still like this better. So I'm gonna continue to buy it. I know some people don't like that it dries up a little quicker maybe than most mascaras. And that does stink. Like I agree with you, but the magic of it for the first two months is worth it for me. <laughs> I have two empties of the Merit 1980 brow. I'm not even sure I've talked about this much on my channel. It is one of my favorite brow products. I use the shade brown. I need to get another one. There's something about it where I never really need to like wipe off the brush at all. It's just the right amount of pigment that I want for my brows. So big fan. I am missing this in my life right now. So I need to repurchase. Honestly, maybe during the Sephora sale. Also used up another of the Makeup by Mario, the Perfect Brown Eyeliner. It's the one that has the pencil liner and then the little brush. I love this. This and the Sephora one are neck and neck. I love them both. I repurchased both. So good. It's great at like smudging. I'm actually wearing it today. You can smudge it out a little bit. It'll stay in the waterline really nicely. Don't look too closely. My skin, so you know when you apply your makeup early in the day and then you try to reapply by putting stuff on top and sometimes it just doesn't work. That was me today and I'm like, I just, it is what it is. So I've got like weird bits of foundation that are just not sitting right. It's because I put a different foundation over, anyway, it's my own fault. <laughs> okay, I'm working on a drugstore foundations ranking video 
And so I was getting clips of me trying them on and I was gonna try this one on. And this one has gone so bad. It's got like blue and white and gray. Like it looks, I don't even wanna do it. It looks so gross. And I thought if I like shook it up better, no. I shook this up for like a full two minutes the other day and it's just gross and separated. Ugh. I don't even like touching it, to be honest, you guys. So that one just needs to go in the trash. I haven't even had that one that long, so it's even weirder. I used up a makeup eraser pen. I get these on Amazon. They come with extra little tips. You can replace the tip. It's just great for cleaning up mascara, liner, whatever you may have smudged all over your face. I use it every day. And then I used up a Grande Brow and Grande Lash. I've switched on to some other brands I'm trying, but I've loved these for years. They definitely work, so they're expensive. You have to keep using them, but they definitely work. I have an Amazon one that is different, different ingredients that I think works as well, and it's cheaper. Um, I will link if you're wanting to dip your toe into the brow serum, lash serum world. Let's talk skincare now. Okay, I was so pleasantly surprised by this product. This is the Aveeno Calm and Restore Oat Cleanser. It's for sensitive skin, it's fragrance-free. I love so much from Aveeno, any of their fragrance-free items, I just feel like tend to be really, they just agree with my skin really well. Aveeno makes my favorite body wash of all time, but I really like this face wash. I would totally buy this again. I think this might, I wanna say this is a newer launch, but I think I just, it's new to me, so I feel like it's a new launch, but I don't know that it is. But it wasn't super drying on the skin. I always pair my cleanser with like a, makeup cleansing balm beforehand. So I don't know how well this would perform at removing all your makeup alone, but I just really, really liked it a lot. This one was okay. I just feel like you can get this for much cheaper and it's gonna be very similar. It's the Youth to the People Triple Peptide and Cactus Oasis Serum. I don't think this is bad at all. I just feel like you could go with the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid Serum and get very, very similar results. I also really like the peptide serum from May Love. I'll actually be talking about in a video coming up very soon. Um, those are the ones I would prefer over this. And so I feel like for this price tag, there's better out there. The little bottom came off. Um, I do think their packaging is kind of fun. Like I like the vibe of the brand, but I will say a lot of their components feel cheap. I have one of their moisturizers right now I'm using too. And the lid just feels like this cheapy, I like the glass jars, but the components always just feel really cheap. And again, for that price tag. Ooh. I tried to make my own Americano today. I made an espresso in our little machine and then I was adding hot water to it here. And um, I added too much water. It tastes totally watered down, but I'm like, I'm trying to make better coffee here at work and it's as close as I could get. I used up the Neutrogena Cleansing Balm. It's okay. It's not a favorite. I don't, it's just not a favorite but it's not bad. I bought this, we were in a pinch. This was actually a long time ago. I've had this puppy for a while. We were in Florida like a year ago and I did not have a makeup remover. And so we stopped by Target or something somewhere and I just grabbed this and it, it worked. And then I brought it home and used it up here, but it's just not a favorite. There's better out there. I like the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Removing Balm. It's the one that kind of smells like Lime. I kind of love the smell, even though generally I'm, I don't need fragrance in my skincare, but this one does smell really good. But it works really well. I definitely think this removes makeup better than this, but this is also like double the price. This one, the Naturium Purple Ginseng Cleansing Balm. I, gosh, how many of these? I think that's the last makeup cleanser, remover, whatever. I liked this one. This one is a little bit more affordable. Um, I want the pharmacy one. I'm trying to think, what is Naturium's price? Now I'm curious. Naturium sold at Target, so in my mind, they're always like a little little bit of a cheaper option, but they aren't always, I feel like, you know? Okay, so that one is $20, and the Pharmacy Green Clean is $36, so it's still a lot cheaper than that, and I, di I did like this. I would buy this one again. The Pharmacy Niacinamide Night Mask, I went through yet another one of these. I am halfway through my next one. This is, I, I talk about this a lot, so I won't dwell on it, but... I pair this with retinol. So if it's a night I'm doing retinol every other night, this is the moisturizer that goes on on top and I love it. I feel like my skin has not been as dry with the retinol as it used to be since I introduced this into my routine. I will always circle back to the Polish Choice Omega Plus line. I like everything in that line. This is the Omega Plus Complex Moisturizer. I also like their Complex Serum. I think I've used their Complex Eye Cream. 
I, it's just a, a line of theirs I really like. Um, and I feel like it's very, I don't know. I feel like most people's skin would like it. Used up another good all vitamin C serum. I love this vitamin C serum. If you like a thicker, more gel-like consistency, if you like a more liquid consistency, like a traditional vitamin C serum, I recommend the May Love one. You guys know I love that one. So that one is gone. Oh, there it is. Here's the Omega uh, Complex Serum. So yeah, I was using these in conjunction. This serum's a little bit thicker. It's not like a liquid serum you might envision, but they work really, really well together. And then Polish Choice Ceramide Enriched Firming Eye Cream. This is definitely one of the only eye creams I feel like I notice a difference with. And now that it's used up, I'm like, I'm gonna need to buy it again. It actually has retinol in it and vitamin C. Um, but it's safe to use around your eyes. And it's just one of those that if you're gonna do an eye cream, cause you don't have to, but if you're gonna, I do feel like this one's a good one. Okay, I hated this so much. And I love a lot from Laneige, but this is the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cleansing Foam. The scent of this was so strong and it smells good. It smells spa-like, but it was so strong. It made my eyes burn. And I know you're not supposed to get cleanser in your eyes. Okay, we all get cleanser in our eyes from time to time, right? And I just feel like it made my skin feel that squeaky clean that I don't personally like. A little dry, a little tight. And then that scent on top of it, I used it like four or five times. I started to get breakouts and I was like, I don't know what's causing it, but I know I don't like this. So I pulled it out and the breakouts have stopped. So I don't know that a cleanser would be the thing that's giving you a breakout. It's on your skin for like 20 seconds, but still I wouldn't recommend. It's just mm -mm, not for me. Um, the Mario Badescu drying lotion. This is that stuff that you're not supposed to shake and it's filled with like, yeah, isopropyl alcohol. And then it's got this pink salicylic acid mixture of stuff. And you like put a Q-tip in there and then it gets the pink on it and you put it on your breakouts. You let it dry overnight. This stuff works, okay? I would totally consider getting it again. I use other stuff though that's not as finicky to use. You know what I mean? So but I would totally, it totally works. It will dry a pimple out overnight. Also done with the Tatcha Clarifying Clay Mask. I love this mask from them. This is one of those like kind of detoxifying type masks I'll use when I'm in the bath and I really like it. It's got con konjac, cognac, um, it's got clay and it's that texture that just it's, it's what you want if you're wanting to do one of those kinds of clay masks. It is not one, however, that like dries on your skin. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess it would if you left it on for a very long time, but it's one that you're just gonna wash off and it doesn't get as dry as some of those do. All right, let's move on to hair care. My favorite shampoo and conditioner I've ever tried, I think ever, is the Kevin Murphy Repair Me line. I got it at my salon. I ended up loving this so much that I bought the giant liter size of each one that is currently in my shower and I love it. The conditioner, first of all, it smells amazing but the conditioner alone, it works better than most of the deep conditioners I've used at detangling. I'll just put it in my hair a normal amount, rinse it out after a minute and all the tangles just out. I don't know where you can get this. Like I said, I got it at my salon. I'll see what I can find link wise, but oh my gosh, I just, I love it so much. I mean, I pretty much use it exclusively at this point. Mm. Makes your hair smell so good. Now a shampoo and conditioner that is just as expensive, but I hate it is the Virtue line. This is the recovery shampoo and recovery conditioner. Like I said, it's half empty. I don't know what to do with so it. I'm like, maybe I could, I don't know, give it to Tyler. He might like it. I don't know. It had a lot of claims that it's, you know, cleanses, replenishes, nourishes. Um, it's got alpha keratin in it. I just felt like my hair has never been drier and more tangly than when I used this. And I really expected it to do the opposite. So I just felt disappointed. Maybe there are certain hair types this is right for, but for whatever reason, it, I did not like it. It did not work for me. I still have a little bit of this left here, but I figured I'd mention it. It's the L'Oreal Eight Second Wonder Water. This is that stuff that you can put in your hair from like here down. And again, it makes your tangles just right out of your hair. Um, it gives you silkier, shinier hair, no silicone, no way down. Um, do not get it in your eyes, but I would buy this again, especially if I've done my hair naturally curly for like a week or two, it naturally is just way more tangly. And this is the only thing that will help me get those tangles out. So I feel like for day-to-day -day use, I don't need it. But when I've done that and I need to like come back from that, this is 
exactly what I need. You guys already know I love my Ava NYC Main Magic Primer. They sell this one now for fine hair, which my hair really is more fine than it is thick, but they've done some with the nozzle and they've got to get it figured out because this is my favorite and I've been buying other brands because the nozzle keeps leaking and it never used to do that. And a lot of you guys are complaining of the same thing. So, but I highly recommend it's a definitely lower priced option and it just works so well at detangling. It's got a little bit of heat protection in there, frizz, it cuts drying time, UV protection, non-greasy, etc. My beloved Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray, of course. I went through yet another one of those. Favorite I've loved for 10 years. It gives the right amount of medium hold. It's not sticky, but it does give your hair a little bit of texture, which I love, and it smells really good. Living Proof Dry Shampoo. It's a go-to. I use a different kind I'll show you in a minute now, but if I were to buy an aerosol one, this one, the smell is a lot. Like it's just very, it's very dry shampoo-y. But you know what? My hair feels very non-oily with this. Like it works really well. So if you need a like heavy duty dry shampoo, I would recommend this one. I also used up the Vegamore Grow Hair Serum. I'll put this in my roots all through here. I used to think it was like gonna be an oil when I would see ads for this. It's not, it's actually like water. So you can put it in your dry hair if you wanted to, but I'll typically um, put it in my hair right after I've washed it and it's still wet. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It's not oily. Like I said, it really is a water consistency. I feel like I noticed a difference, especially postpartum. I will probably end up buying again. Just feel like it's a proactive thing I can do for my hair, you know, especially since I do have thinner hair. Whoo, you guys still there? This is a, this is a long one. Uh, the Way Detox Shampoo I really enjoyed. It just gets all the nasty, crusty, dry shampoo, hairspray, all of that stuff out of your hair. I would use it once a week, if that, really probably every other week. It works really well. It's a teeny tiny bottle, you know, it is what it is, but I feel like because I didn't use it too often, it took me a while to go through, and it smells just like, it smells fine. Riogio Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I do still like this. Um, I, I think I found deep conditioners I like better. I'll link one that's cheaper that I love. You can get at Target down below. That That's the one, like if I'm searching for one or I'm buying one, I, I'd probably get that over this and that one smells even better. Okay, this dry shampoo was awful. So first of all, I fell in love with the Tap Secret dry shampoo you can get on Amazon. It's one of those that's got the powder in the bottom and a little powder puff and you can just pop, 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 pop it into your hair. It works like a dream. You're not having to spray it everywhere. There's still some that's airborne when you're doing it, but it's not just absolutely everywhere. I bought this because it was bigger and it was on Amazon and it's Vigor Well Bye Bye Greasy Hair. Very much looks like a copycat for like Bumble and Bumble's version of this. When I say this did not do anything, this did not do anything. I was putting powder in, I'm like, why is it not soaking up the oil? Like it was just so weird. I could not get it to work. So, I mean, I get it to work, but I couldn't, it just didn't do anywhere near what this one did. So if you're looking at some on Amazon, I still recommend the Tap Secret. I did see one of you guys uh, sent me a message saying they do sell a refill for this, which would be amazing. So there you go. Let's do body care. I just yesterday used up the FAE Epsom salt bath soak. I buy this on Thrive Market. I really like this. This has eucalyptus and peppermint. Um, so I would totally repurchase if you have a Thrive Market membership, add it to your cart. I really think you'll like it. The, the, the peppermint and everything in it just felt like some of the most relaxing baths I've had. Oh my gosh. It is the rainiest day here, you guys. And we had really bad storms last night. We're like <laughs> turning up both of the girls sound machines. So it's louder. So that all they're hearing is the white noise and not the thunder and lightning. Cause I'm like, it was getting pretty wild out there. We had our flashlights ready just in case like. Anyway, so today now we're just left with a very steady spring rain and it's super gray out, but it's kind of kind of a nice vibe, you know? So the Tree Hut Vitamin C Sugar Scrub, I love. This is the one that has alpha hydroxy acid in it, so it really helps kind of um, exfoliate your skin on a deeper level than just the physical exfoliation. So I love that it does both, especially in the spring and summer is when I really actively use products like this and get at the drugstore, it's so good. And the smell, I love the smell. It's very like, I don't even know what scent it's supposed to be. Kind of citrusy, I think. I used up a Tree Hut Shave Oil. I love these. This scent is the candy cane. It smelled nothing like candy canes. It smelled good, but you know. 
but I've already repurchased another scent of that. I am a fan, I'm realizing, of the Gold Bond lotions in this kind of packaging. I used up this eczema relief. I use this on my lower legs. I get really itchy. I don't know if it's truly eczema or not, but a lot of my family has eczema, so I, I kind of just have reason to believe it's some version of that. But either way, it's got 2% colloidal oatmeal, which is really gonna help with the itching. It helps with the dryness. If I use this for a few nights in a row when I'm having kind of an episode, if you will, it works and then I'm, I'm good for a few weeks. So I just love this stuff. It's such a game changer. I've already repurchased. It's already in my bathroom. And then I really enjoyed this, the Gold Bond Retinol Overnight Body and Face Lotion. I've not tried it on my face. I've got other stuff for that, but for your body, I liked it. I don't know that I noticed a crazy difference, like, wow, my legs suddenly look five years younger or something. But I do feel like it was nice. I would repurchase if you're wanting, you know, the retinol that's gonna be in it is not gonna be the strongest retinol in the world, but I'm like, hey, any little bit may help, you know? You never know. I'm trying to remind myself of that, like little things you do for yourself daily can really add up long-term. And sometimes when you're, I'm getting very poetic here, but like sometimes when you're in the middle of um, your life, you know, in the middle of a day or whatever, maybe it's nighttime and you're like, I don't really wanna do my skincare or whatever it may be. Long-term, if you're doing that every single night, sometimes when you're putting on a moisturizer, you're like, is this even really making a difference? Like blah, blah, blah. But long-term doing that it really does, so. All right, I also used up the Dr. Teal's body wash. I've actually had this for a long time. When I bought it, I thought I was buying bubble bath. <laughs> it was body wash. I used it as bubble bath, honestly, um, but it has pure Epsom salt in it. I'm just now seeing that, which is interesting. But I like any of the Dr. Teal's products are really good too. But yeah, I don't know that I would want this for a body wash every day, because it is a stronger scent, but I really liked it for the bubble bath from time to time. It definitely is, smells strongly of lavender. I had a few other empties. Um, I mean, I guess I can quickly show you. <laughs> the Crest Extra Whitening Mouthwash, Crest 3D White Radiant Mint, and then Molly Suds, two of these laundry things. I usually get on Thrive Market. I got it somewhere else, maybe it was Amazon. Um, I really like, it's a very no-nonsense laundry detergent that's free of a lot of stuff, etc. I toggle, it's not the only one I use right now. I'm using one I got at Costco, like the Ecos brand or something. Anyway, I think I covered everything. Wow. Um, I feel like when I look at my grouping of products here, the standouts to me of like maybe some new stuff that I really am excited about, I really do like the Gold Bond Retinol Lotion. Like I said, I feel like it's such a good product you can find at the drugstore for your body. And then the Aveeno face wash. I was so surprised at how much I liked this. Would buy again. And then of course my shampoo and conditioner that hopefully you can get your hands on, you guys, I don't know. Oh, and the Merit 1980 brow. Cause I, like I said, I don't know that I've talked a lot about this brow product on my channel, but I just absolutely love it. So hopefully that was enjoyable. If you did enjoy it, I hope that you will stick around, subscribe. You can check out my other videos. I've got vlogs where I show just a lot of my life behind the camera if you are, on the other side of the camera, you know what I mean? <laughs> and just what it's like to be a content creator full time. I've been doing this for like 11 years now. Um, oh my gosh, that's crazy. But I also, of course, do beauty and makeup videos all the time too. I'd love to have you join our family by subscribing. Come say hey to me over on my Instagram. It is it's Jessica Braun over there. I'd love to chat with you. I'm always over on my stories and posting reels over there. And thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring a part of this video. If you are ready to check out Ritual's Symbiotic Plus or maybe even their Essential for Women, which is my daily multivitamin I've been taking for many years from Ritual, you can get 25% off your first order by going to ritual.com slash jbron25 and using code jbron25 at checkout. You can also scan the QR code on the screen right now if that is easier for you. And thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.